Hello everybody. So today I have a video for installing and configuring XRDP on Red Hat 7. Uh, this should also apply for CentOS. Uh, basically what this does is it allows you to use Windows RDP uh, to connect to a desktop GUI if you have it installed on your Linux server. Uh, I had a video out for this before, but due to the font size and coloring, I had received a couple complaints. Uh, so hopefully this is a little easier to follow. I will also have a link in the description of this video with all of the steps that we're about to go over. Uh, so to get started, as you can see, I've logged into my Red Hat server here as root user. If you do not log in as root, then you'll need to run sudo before pretty much all of the commands that uh, we're about to use. So just keep that in mind. Um, to get started, we will need to create a repository file for XRDP. Um, in some cases, if you don't do this, yum will install to fail XRDP. So uh, we will add the repo for that. So you can go vi etc yum.repos.d forward slash xrdp dot repo. And we are going to add the following. And once you have this, um, again, there'll be a link to the to this in the description of the video. So you can just copy and paste it into the file. Uh, but once you have this, you can hit escape and do colon WQ exclamation point and save the file. So now we should be able to install XRDP and we can do that using yum. So we'll do yum install dash Y and then we will do xrdp and tiger vnc server okay so once it's installed we should not have any errors here uh, we have a couple warnings but that's okay uh, what we'll do now is start the XRDP service and enable it. So we'll do system CTL start XRDP and then the same command, but just change start to enable. And now we should actually see uh, port 3389, so the RDP port listening. So we can do net stat ANP and grep for 3389. And there we go. Um, so what we should also do is create a firewall rule to allow uh, port 3389 through. Um, optionally, I guess you could disable the firewall, but I like to try to do stuff with the firewall running. So first of all, uh, we can check. So we'll do system CTL status firewall D. It's running. So to create a firewall rule, you can do firewall dash cmd dash dash oops, dash dash permanent dash dash zone equals public dash dash add port equals 3389 forward slash tcp and then we'll do firewall cmd dash dash reload Okay, uh, if you want to disable the firewall, you could do system CTL stop firewall D. I'm not gonna do that, but you could, and then just to disable it completely, you could do disable, and that would stop and disable the firewall. So we should now have a XRDP configuration file. We can open it with VI, so we'll do etc xrdp xrdp.ini and what we're actually going to do here is comment out this line now i can't really explain why this needs to be done it's just i have encountered a number of issues where when trying to connect to xrdp on red hat 7 uh, the session will open and then you'll see the desktop for a second and it will disappear instantly and I tried to find um, a solution for this online. I couldn't, and just through troubleshooting, I had found that if this line is comment out, it allows you to connect to the server. 
So uh, that's why we're doing that. And once you have commented out that line, that's the only thing we need to change in here. So you can hit escape, right quit, exit. And then uh, we should now be able to connect to the server with RDP. So we will do rel server. And it opened on my other monitor here. Uh, you should have something like this. So just enter in your credentials. All right, so there we have it. We are now connected to my Red Hat server through uh, RDP. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.